Lamar Collins, and I'm here at City Hall enjoying the afternoon, the breeze, the birds chirping, but my heart goes out to the citizens of Temple, the citizens of West, Boston, Massachusetts, and all that were affected by last week's tragedy. In Temple, we lost a student to suicide. We also lost a pillar in our community, Joyce Mays, the wife of Pastor Charles Edward Mays. We all know about the tragedy at West with the explosion, and also the catastrophe that happened at the Boston Marathon. I want to suggest three things to those that were affected. First of all, because the suicide is partly attributed to bullying, I want to challenge people to be nice to each other. I want to challenge people to honor each other, respect each other, smile at each other, be nice to each other because you never know what someone is going through and your smile, it does make a difference. The second thing I want to challenge the citizens of Temple to do is to tell people that you love, tell them you love them. You never know when someone will expire, when someone will die. And it's important to let the people that you know love them, that you love them. That is important. Finally, it's inevitable that someone you love will die. It's inevitable. It's an unfortunate reality of life. I had a friend tell me one time that he had lost his wife of 50 years, 4 months, and 12 days. He told me, said, Lamar, instead of thinking about what I no longer have, I choose to focus on the 50 years, 4 months, and 12 days that I have my very best friend. Instead of focusing on what you no longer have, I want to challenge you to focus on the great times and great memories you made with that loved one. And that way, they'll never die, but they'll live forever through the positive memories. Let's pray. Lord, there are many people affected by last week's events. I pray that you will give them the strength, the courage, and the wherewithal to get back in life and continue to fulfill their God-given mandate. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm Lamar Collins. God bless you.